I spent the last week in Quebec City covering all the music, sights and sounds of the Festival d'Été de Québec. Tyler Shaw is one of the many big artists performing at the festival, and I caught up with him before his big show. We were hungry, so we grabbed some poutine. On a side note, I think we should, all, we should be doing all of our interviews over poutine. Take a look. We are here at Le Chic Shack in uh, Old Quebec, right by the Chateau Frontenac. I'm here with Tyler Shaw. Tyler, welcome to the festival. Thank you so much. Now, look, this is the most quintessential part of the most Quebec place in Quebec City. So I thought we should get together and build our own versions of the most quintessential Quebec dish, poutine. Uh, my mouth right. is watering right now. So, so let's yeah. build and talk at the same time. I'm all right? down, I'm down. All right, let's do so. this. I always like to add a little meat to mine. Most important part. I've always found it fascinating that in Quebec, you can buy it when you go to a gas station. And I'm keeping it simple. I might put a little, uh, some, some herbs on top. There you go. And then that's, that's my poutine. And can we talk for a second about how we are in the shadow of the most romantic hotel probably in Canada, Chateau Frontenac, and this is where you found love. This is the city. Seven years ago, I met my wife in this city. How? Quebec Tell me the city. story. It was at a club called La Degobao. I saw her on the dance floor, and I shimmied up to her, obviously made some moves, and that caught her eye. And you have moves? Absolutely not. No, okay. That was kind of the start of everything. And you're celebrating your wedding anniversary soon. Yeah, August 18th, that's right, exactly. Okay, let's talk about the success you've had recently, because mm. I remember we were on the red carpet at the MMVAs a few years ago, yeah. and we performed with you live. It's still on heavy rotation on my iPhone. All right, it's a, it's one of those songs that's an evergreen, beautiful, romantic song. Thank you. Also, huge at weddings. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I've actually performed it a couple times at a wedding. When you're writing a song, do you know as you're writing, like, this is going to be one of those, this is a big one? I, there is a specific feeling that you have um, during and after the session. Um, a lot of times you go in there and you don't you don't have a concept and then what you create after not knowing what you're gonna do. It's still mind blowing to me that as songwriters and producers we were able to do that. Yeah. You got a new album out right now. Yes. So what was your approach in writing that one? With you or to the man who let her go? That, that's the follow up. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually it was a very interesting concept. You know when you break up with someone you have a lot of heartache and there's anger and there's frustration. Not me. Not you, really. When I've broken up with somebody I've been very decisive about it. That's good. That's it's amazing. Over. We're moving on. Good. Actually, uh, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I tried to. Uh, I took a different approach to the breakup um, scenario, and I decided to thank um, the the ex in terms of you know whatever they did, letting the person go, mm -hmm. and now I'm with that person. That's almost like. A different take on God Bless the Broken Road. Exactly. Yeah, that's actually a good way awesome. to think about it. Remind me, on the cover of your album, mm. there's Chinese characters, right? Yep. Was that important to you? It was. No, I, I am Chinese Canadian. My dad is from Hong Kong. Um, so I wanted people to know that. That's, that's the background. That's the heritage. Um, and that, I was just getting reconnected with everything because growing up, the, my dad and that culture wasn't really around. However, a few years ago, we reconnected and got into that, and I finally started to discover that side of me that I didn't really know. Is, anybody out there? Is there anybody on your list of people you want to work with? I ran into David Foster at the Junos, and we had a great conversation. That is someone I'd love to work with. He's a great guy. And Justin Timberlake has always been an inspiration of mine. Justin Timberlake and John Mayer are the top two guys that I've been listening to since I was a kid, and that has just been Mind-blowing ever since. Even now, it's like inspiring. You've got so much cheese curd in you right now. I know, right? I'm not. Even, you're done. Yeah, like. I'm done. Tyler, congratulations. <laughs> thank you for thank, thank you, you for My sitting pleasure. down with me. Really appreciate My it. Pleasure, man. All the best. See you soon. Thanks. And Tyler's latest album, Intuition, is out now. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.